Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. I know, I think I put in the comments earlier, that I would not be able to make a video of this on PC, but it turns out I got my data back, and I am making the full PC version of the Magnitude 6.5, well I guess they made it a historic quake, the Monte Cristo Range Earthquake. It's crazy, 21,000 felt reports and possibly felt as far as the Bay Area, uh, Southern Cal no, not Southern California, maybe like Bakersfield or Barstow, definitely Las Vegas, definitely Reno, Carson City. Crazy. <laughs> it's a historic quake now. That's it's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Google Earth has not been working today. It, like, made the page that, and I don't know what's been going on, so I'm going to have to go Google Earth and do the search thing. So that kind of sucks. Launch Earth. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, stop spinning. Put the coordinates. There goes the globe. We can close that. Oh gosh. Oh, it's getting super laggy here. Getting super laggy. So yeah, that happened right there. Unfortunately, I won't be able to pull up the fault list. So like, oh wait, maybe I will. Because I have this fault map. So I'll probably be able to put it here. Oh wait, no, that's for California. Shoot. Um, sorry. Improvising here. Occurred on that that fault. Really wish it would tell me which fault it was, but I don't think I'll be able to get that. So, yeah, shoot. Um. All right, so let's go on to the readings from my Infotech seismometer. And as you can see, these are like just unbelievably large readings, and all of these and Mammoth are from like right next to where the quake happened. So you can see all the aftershocks. There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's just a crazy amount of aftershocks. And then the 6.5 is just massive on their seismometers, as you can see. And I don't think I've ever had readings this big, actually. It's just insane. Because it's going off the charts when I have. Look at this. I made it so there's. Oh, 12? Here, let's do 24. It's going to take a second. This is going to be an extra long video. I think the computer is actually being slow because I haven't used it in so long. Because I've been in Utah for 8 days and I got back recently. And it's kind of like, you know, just being extremely slow. So t that part's loaded, but it hasn't loaded this. And give it just a s you know here let's do the raspberry shake first since that's taking forever so here you can see massive readings at first then you can see the p wave which got up to 15,000 counts alone which is bigger than most of the quakes that i have most of the seismic data videos that i have on my channel and then the s wave is just 30,000 counts <laughs> no light <laughs> I generally do think these are the biggest rings I've had on the channel. 30,000 counts, then almost negative 30,000 counts. That's insane. Then, as you know, the usual starts to fade out. Still super slow. And then even, it's still down here, like, after, like a couple minutes after it's happened, still making counts up to 800. And then here you can see aftershock, P wave, S wave, P wave, S wave. Okay, let's pull this up on the spectrogram. You can see dark, low frequency. And then we hit the S wave right here. And I think it's like, oh gosh, whoops. That is some of the darkest rings I've ever had as well. That is crazy. Super dark there, 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 there. And just all the way through. 
then it starts to fade out while it's still being super dark, super dark on the spectrogram. That's just insane. Pony Tony's really trying to get to get us, aren't isn't it? I guess first we have 6.5 Idaho. So sorry, 5.7 Utah, 6.5 Idaho, then another 6.5 in Nevada. It's <sighs> crazy, crazy year. And here, let's see if this is. It has, and it's still off the charts, even though it's showing 24 lines of data. Holy moly. So yeah, this is also arguably some of the biggest readings on the Infotech. <sighs> Crazy, dude. Actually, yeah, I think this is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again in the next video.